behind the wheel talking about this whole mess with Beyonce and country and how the racist then came out and the white racist radio station wouldn't play her song. Tracy Chapman put on one of the best performances on that tacky turkey Grammy show and Luke Combs came out and performed because he did a cover of it. Do you know that Fast Car is the first CMA song for a black artist to win Song of the Year award? Now, you want to talk about racist singer-songwriters in any genre of music. First time. Let that sink in. How long has country music been around? How long was Ray Charles, Charlie Pride, Jimmy Rogers? How long was it? And this is the first. But her performance on stage, Fast Car would be classified as a country song. It's not a pop ditty. That's more country than the stuff Taylor Swift does. More is country than what Shania Twain does. More country than what Garth Brooks did. Yeah, Fast Car by Tracy Chapman is across the board was country pop. But she just has to have black skin. She gave, a, pardon me, a great performance with Luke Combs. Let's keep it 100. That's why music is missing. Chapman hasn't even had a, you know, since the 90s, big hits and stuff. And she's been relatively low key. She's low key. She was around before there was a little affair, before there was a Sarah McLaughlin, etc. So I think it's very important that you give Tracy Chapman her flowers. And Fast Car is a song that would be identified because it was number one country. And they don't just play anybody. Think about it. Let that sink in. Luke Combs had a big hit with it. First time black artist to win Song of the Year award. And she's a songwriter and musician. And she gave a heck of a performance with him on that stage, which just goes to show people are hungry for real music. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep in mind, clear, watch out for another share if you like my piece.